I told the world what I know is really going on, they would kill me. I was told, stay in my lane, we'll get you. And as you know, some of the people, that doctor who blew the whistle on the in Wuhan on the virus, he disappeared. People do disappear. I have a friend who's a hitman for the CIA. He says people disappear. If you step on grunge, gross universal cash eyes, they will come and get you. But I also got warnings, stay in your lane, because I was crossing into pharmaceuticals. But if you understand where the money is, is that when somebody produces a vaccine, and, and Trump had to buy in on it, he's a friend of mine, Trump's had to buy in, because they're gonna push this vaccine through the system. And that means everybody must be vaccinated as pharmaceuticals. So I was told to stay in my lane. So if I could say something else, that give people a better idea, and it's more than Grunge and Giants, probably have many books, but he talked about that day, he called it the five M's. And so the mind is they control that, that grunge controls academics. There's no financial education. So they control the mind. Then they control the money. That's Daniel Martino Booth, the Fed. The Fed is not federal. It's a, it's a cartel. The Fed is bailing out the CEOs of our big corporations who are criminals. Our CEOs, they're screwing this whole world right now. So what I said was the Fed bails out Wall Street, and that's why I get a little bit upset we have no financial education in our schools, because mom and pop, you know, they got the retirement in a 401k full of a diversified portfolio stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs, and these CEOs, like IBM, General Electric, they've just been jacking up their stock price. So the Fed gives them the indirectly all this money. So just recently, the corporates were given 560 billion from the Fed. 560 billion is a lot of money. They did it in six weeks. That's twice. The, the Fed is so afraid this thing is crashing. They're finding any way to pump money into the economy. So they give it to the CEOs at the same time. So the CEOs get richer, the Fed gets richer, Wall Street gets richer, but mom and pop small business gets screwed. And so small businesses go bankrupt, employees are going bankrupt, and we're paying people money. But that's screwing you who save money. Why would you save money when the Fed is printing it and then paying you nothing for it, zero interest rate policy? Like I said, when I was when I was about 20 years old, I got 15% interest on my money because it was worth something. It was worth saving money. Now you don't get that. So the thing that upsets me is that the Fed is bailing out the rich CEOs. And I don't know if you've seen some of the criminal charges the CEOs have been put up with, like Pfizer was hit with $500 million in fines. Uh, when I was in Vietnam, there was a company called Monsanto and they're the ones that produced that Agent Orange that killed hundreds of thousands of Vietnamese, but it also was sprayed upon American soldiers. So my business partner was one of those soldiers in Vietnam and he died of it. He was crippled. So Monsanto admitted to no wrongdoing. This is years ago, this is ancient history for you guys. But Monsanto said we did nothing wrong, but they paid $80 million to the U.S. veterans who were sprayed with that Agent Orange. So the corporate greed has gotten excessive, 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 and mom and pop are paying for it. My friend who owns a bicycle shop in Hawaii, he just finally gave up, you know, his whole life savings, 15 years of work. He says, I just can't take it anymore. So why do they bail out the rich and the criminals, but they screw the small entrepreneur? That's horrible. So that's why I said the Fed bails out Wall Street again, but Main Street. Then you have military, military industrial complex. You know, I woke up in Vietnam and said, why am I killing innocent people? Why are my friends dying? What am I doing here? Who am I fighting for? And then you have the media. So right now we're stepping on media's tails. You know, MB, I have, my friend is Steve Burke of NBC Universal. I just said, you guys are crushing us. I said, well, we're just little guys on this little iPhone. <laughs> so media scared, and then medicine. 
what I have been doing just by tweeting about Bill Gates and vaccines. It involves the minds. Fuller says, you know, most people, oh, I love my children. That's why I'm afraid I love, so it's love. You know, I don't want my kids to get it. So we're gonna vaccine everybody. And if you don't vaccine, I'll kill you because you're gonna damage my kids. So it's love and hate are very close to each other. And so the media controls us by love and hate and fear. And then you have the military. And as you know, this the National Guard's in place already protecting our toilet paper. But they're there for other reasons too, civil unrest, which is coming. And then our money supply. So what happened for me is when I read Grunch of Giants, I made the decision I would never need money again. And that's when I chose to listen to my rich dad. My rich dad was an entrepreneur and my poor dad was an academic, a poor academic who was teaching kids to be fragile, job security, steady paycheck and pension. So that's why I wrote this book this year is who stole my pension. We haven't seen anything yet, Patrick. You know, when the baby boomers wake up, not only has a COVID virus nailed them because they're old and feeble, but Wall Street has sucked all the cash out of their pension plans. So we haven't seen the worst of it yet. We're in very dangerous times right now because we are messing with the mind, which is the university system. They make so much money. Student loans, you know, student loans today are 1.7 trillion dollars the subprime mortgage was only one trillion dollars so we screw the kids how dare we do that and then you got money you can learn nothing about money at school and if you really have a real financial transformation you don't need money you can just make money like this and then if you've served in the military you'll understand what real courage is and that was the word I got. And I went to military school in New York only because I was such a screwed up kid in Hawaii surfing all the time. And so I needed some discipline. And when I meet people who are not successful, they lack discipline. It's not that they're not smart. You know, they can't, it's not save money. They can't budget money. And the media right now is shaking their boots because what we're doing threatens them. They cannot control us. And then we have medicine. So when I was sitting, 35 years old sitting in Fuller's audience and he's written many books. Grunch was not his best book. I don't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't bother reading it personally, but I understood it. That's where we are today and what we're doing is the news. And our job is to be wartime leaders and be brave, be courageous, get our skills up, get our entrepreneurial skills up, you know, learn to sell, learn to communicate. I, I have a lot of friends whose sons are whips. They're just whips. You know, they're sitting at home sucking their thumb. And then now that they lost their job, they want to go back and get a job. Or exactly as you said, they'll make more sitting at home sucking their thumb. And we've lost another generation there. There's another guy's talking about coronavirus. That's Martinson, Chris Martinson. He and Adam Taggart, his partner in the business. Uh, they talk the most important thing you got to have is your team. Your, your core support group. People talk about team all the time, but this is what Fuller taught me. It's a synergy of different professions. So I have, I have a bookkeeper. You know, people have QuickBooks. I have a bookkeeper, a human being. I have Tom Wheelwright, my accountant. He's my tax guy. I have Garrett Sutton, my general counsel. You know, I have Kenny McElroy, who runs my debt department. He's my partner in real estate. And we have uh, Josh and Lisa Lannon, who are into addictions, because we're all addicted to something. You know, mine is food, Chinese food. But anyway, you know, it's, I'm, I'm gaining weight sitting at home because of my addiction. So the most important thing is, is to have the integrity of a team, a team that will call you when you're all out of line, or at least question you. Because we, we all have a light side and a dark side. And my dark side is very dark. I quite enjoy it. You could call it negative, but the reason I'm prepared today is I don't trust my government. I don't trust the Fed. When I read Grunch of Giants, and, I, and then I wrote this book here, Fake, you know, this is 2019, fake money, fake teachers, fake assets. It's fake money, the fiat currency. 
That's why I recommend Bitcoin and gold and silver, just because they're outside the system. You know, Bitcoin is open source. So you know the Fed's going to come after them. I know they're going to come after them. So they're going to create their own Bitcoin. Because that's why Satoshi Nakamura, I guess, says, I don't know if, I don't know if he's real either, but he disappeared from sight. You know, because he came out in 2009, right after the subprime crash in 2008. I think he either was disappeared or he was smart enough to disappear. Because you're messing with some very, very big players. You know, like I'm messing with the academic system and the finance system. And when I crossed into coronavirus and the pandemic, I was warned, you know, I was pounded, pounded on social media. They said, you stay out of this one because pharmaceuticals and insurance is big business. So the thing is, is the most important thing is that's like that book Atlas Shrugged. You know, the capitalists go into hiding. I have several places where I hide, but I also hide like we're hiding right now in plain sight in social media. So I, I get together on Zoom with my team and all this. And we might broadcast my little meeting to show you what a real team looks like. What a real business team. You know, rugby team is one team. Football is one team. Soccer is one team. But if you ever see a real business team, it's interesting. So we're a small entrepreneur group, but we produce incredible results. I mean, I make millions tax-free because I play by the same rules the corporations do. If you're, a, if you're a pizza shop owner, you're playing by the small rules. So you've got to have these good advisors and all this. I I'm always have general counsel. And I don't want to break the rules. When social media, they pounded on me, stay out, of, stay out of the virus. You know, don't talk about Bill Gates having human testing. Jesus, that was fast. But I understand vaccines. You know, vaccine to be profitable must be driven by the government. It must be 100% compliance. So they get, you know, let's say, I don't know what vaccines the kids have today, but a lot of people, a lot of parents won't vaccine their kids. And what social media does is get the other parents to attack that parent and say, you're damaging my kids. Say, well, I love my kids. You don't love your kids. So I, you know, I don't vaccine because I love my kids. I vaccine because I love my kids. And really what it is is fear. And that's why you got to be a wartime leader because I never hated the Viet Cong. I respected them. They were just like you and me. I hated when I saw their families die. I hated when we killed them. I didn't make me happy. It was, it was love. But we also fight out of fear. Now, who was making us fight? I don't know today. Six million Jews were killed by the Nazis, but Stalin also killed 25 million other people in their gulags. I don't know how many people China's killing. I think that's what we're getting to. You know, all of this political correctness, you can't say this, you can't say that, gender pronouns, exactly, I think Jordan Peterson talks about. That's the First Amendment. They're taking away our First Amendment.